So this is where we are currently at, but now I'm actually ooh, gonna take that off and put on a sweater. So hello and welcome to today's video. Today I want to talk about um, how to make our wardrobes more zero waste or more like circular just to prevent them from being a linear make it use a lot of resources dump it into the landfills and it's polluting our environment because that's not what we want we want to have a circular economy a zero waste recycling or upcycling cycle as much as possible i know that sounds weird and i'm not sure if i'm making sense but i have an example today my linen pants my favorite favorite linen pants um ripped apart and i needed a new pair but i decided to give it a try and make something new out of them. I think let's get started with the beginning of where do you start trying well, and, 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 and I'm gonna complete it. Like I have some more things to do here. I still have some, some needles in here and I need to sew these little parts so that it actually fits well. I have my, my stuff here. That thread is recovered from the pants like I opened up the seams to be able to reuse the thread because I did not have any beige thread that would like fit the color of the garment so that's what I did and that's yeah that seems like a lot of work and it was but I think it was worth it because then I didn't need to buy new thread and that's one part of it but now let's start in the beginning when we and I think I think the beginning is buying new clothes. So when we buy new clothes for our, for our wardrobe, we have several options and the most sustainable one will always be buying clothes secondhand because those clothes have already been produced. So you are not responsible for any like carbon footprint that the production of this piece might have. But there are several situations where buying something secondhand is not a good option. For example, when it comes to underwear, if you don't have secondhand stores away available, if there are not really many good clothes available, available secondhand for your body type, there are so many different reasons why it maybe doesn't make sense for you to buy secondhand. And then of course, I think we have several other things to consider when we buy something new. Now, one of them would of course be buying from a sustainable fashion brand to make sure that the, yeah, the process of making that garment already is a bit more sustainable, is a bit more like maybe doesn't use as toxic of dyes as other fashion brands would use. But there are also, it's, it's so, there are so many different approaches to fashion even in sustainable fashion brands. So I think if you are looking at the aspect of zero waste, it maybe makes sense to look at other things as well, at least, if not first. So one of the things would be only buying things made from natural fibers because buying clothes made from synthetic fibers such as polyester or nylon do pollute the environment even after making them. They are plastic. So they are made from oil, which is already very unsustainable, but by wearing them and washing them, they emit more microplastics and pollute the environment while using them. And definitely whenever the owner decides that they are not useful anymore and maybe even throws them away. So one thing to care for if you want to be sure that your wardrobe is as zero waste as possible is buying clothes made from natural fibers. But there are differences here as well, because natural fibers do not all are not all the same way when it comes to sustainability. Cotton, for example, uses a lot of water and pesticides if it's not like organic cotton. Hemp would be a lot better there or linen, for example, as well. But if you if we talk about tensel, tensel, I think, is an amazing fiber. It's made from wood pulp in Europe mostly and at least like the, the original tensel is made in Austria, as far as I know, and that's a really good fiber. But for example, rayon and viscose, which are also fibers that are made from wood originally, they need like a lot of harsh chemicals to be produced and therefore it's not really a sustainable fabric. They don't pollute 
um, the environment while using them though, so they might still be a better option if you get them secondhand than plastic fibers. Another thing is of course looking at the quality of the piece when buying it just to make sure that it can be used as long as possible. But there we already see that most of the things for, we buy for our wardrobe won't be completely zero waste in the end. When we talk about zero waste when it comes to our wardrobe I think we kind of have to think about if we think it's zero waste as long as it's biodegradable in the end or if zero waste for us really means no waste if possible because of course a cotton t-shirt can biodegrade after a certain amount of time while a polyester piece will never really biodegrade or it will take a very long time because before that it will just break down into microplastics which will cause a lot of harm to the environment. Also the cotton t-shirt we are talking about is mostly sewn with polyester thread, has maybe some dyes that contain plastic or other chemicals that will not just biodegrade and everything is fine. They, a cotton t-shirt or another piece of clothing might have some buttons and kind of like a lot of other things that are not biodegradable even though the fabric itself maybe is. I think when we talk about our wardrobe, it's hard. It's maybe not even possible to have a zero waste wardrobe, but we definitely have a lot of possibilities to reduce the impact our clothes have. I'm also going to link you a video up here where I talk about several different things. Like I think it's five tips you can do to have a more sustainable wardrobe without like needing to buy anything, without needing to spend any money. Just following these five tips will already make your wardrobe a lot more sustainable and I guess maybe you are doing some of these. And now we're going to talk about the things that you can do while maintaining your clothes, while having your clothes. And this is just making sure you can use your clothes as long as possible, which for me means fixing them if they're broken. And which for me also means um, maybe don't wash them too hot so they don't shrink and lose color and shape and things like that. It also means if possible and if you're comfortable with that and if it's possible in your life, hang drying and air drying your clothes, not using a tumbler dryer um, because it's more gentle on your clothes. It also means not washing your clothes too hot because the hot water uses a lot of energy. Also maybe choosing a detergent that is not harmful to the environment. And even if that's not like directly about the clothes, it has definitely something to do with your closet. If you, if the process of having clothes and wearing clothes and washing clothes is, yeah, producing waste, even if it's wastewater, that's not what we want. And so by choosing a mild detergent or a detergent that ha has no harmful ingredients for nature in it, that, yeah, that already helps with making your wardrobe more sustainable. And now the third thing is what I'm doing here, and that is what to do when you don't need your clothes anymore, if they don't fit anymore, if they get holes, if you just don't feel like them anymore. So any reason that makes you not wear your clothes anymore. I think one of the things we can do to make work, like the clothing industry better, not especially maybe not your wardrobe, but in general is just acknowledging when you don't wear your clothes anymore, maybe you should give them to somebody who enjoys them more than you. But the best idea is if you shop your closet before you go and buy new clothes. So make so making sure that you can enjoy your clothes the longest time possible and find new ways of wearing them, it, that is making your wardrobe a lot more sustainable and prevents waste, which is making your wardrobe more zero waste. So if you're thinking about getting rid of a piece of clothing, I am really like there are two things that are important to me. I think it's good to just say like I don't feel like that anymore, it doesn't fit, I want to get rid of it and I think that's absolutely okay. But if you're unsure and if it's maybe just a little fix, if you maybe can just dye something and love it again afterwards, I will link you a video up here where I talk about plant dyeing and how it works and I'll show you exactly how to do that. That is something that I think is a great idea. You can even use a washing machine dye or something like that, because if a small thing like that makes you wear that piece of clothing for several more years, that is amazing. That just ensures that that piece is getting worn because all the things that you do when giving them away, you don't have the same control over it. 
And of course, again, fixing a small th thing, maybe bringing it to a tailor to hem a new pants in a better way for your body type. Just small things I think are always worth it if it makes you wear your clothes more. When a piece of clothing cannot be worn anymore in the way it's supposed to be worn, then we need a sustainable solution to prevent from it from just getting to waste, like just throwing it away and it ending up in the landfill is the least sustainable option we have. Now, I absolutely understand sometimes we cannot do anything else. Sometimes that's just what it is, but we, we can try. We can try finding a few solutions to yeah give the piece of clothing another chance. So one of the things would of course be selling it if that's possible or giving it away to somebody else who wants it. I think there we have to be really careful with um, yeah, choosing who to give it to just because donating for example does not ensure that somebody's actually going to wear it because all of these shops you can donate clothes to often also throw away a huge part of it because it's just not in good shape anymore or they don't think that they can sell it anymore. But of course that really depends on the organization you um, donate clothes to. But I just think we have to be more careful with donating than we maybe are because donating seems to be such a good great solution but a lot of times it's actually not. So that is one idea, just giving it to somebody else. But then there are also pieces of clothing where that is not really possible anymore because they have holes, because they are out of shape. You can just not, you can just not really give it to somebody else anymore um, with feeling good because they are just not in a good shape anymore. So. And here we come to making something else out of it. Now, not everybody wants to make things out of old clothes. I completely understand that. But some of you might be interested in it. And I think the easiest one would maybe be cleaning racks. So just cutting your piece of clothing apart and making some cleaning racks out of it. Another solution is making yarn out of it. So if you have a t-shirt or other kind of stretchy material, that works best, but it even works with not stretchy materials. And it just means that you cut it into stripes or you cut it in like, um, if you have a t-shirt, for example, I don't recommend stripes, but I recommend like, um, I don't know how it's called, so you don't end up just always cutting only one time around it, but you move a bit up and around and around and around, so you actually get like several meters of yarn. And out of that yarn you can um, knit something or crochet something, and there's just endless possibilities uh, what you could do with that. If you're not interested in handcrafting something out of it yourself, there are also sometimes people that like to do it. I have, for example, given um, old clothes and other like fabric pieces to my son's kindergarten before because they used it for some kind of DIY project. So that's another thing you can do. But now let's talk about actually making something out of it. And here I want to talk about my new shirt. I love handcrafting and I love just looking what's possible. So whenever I saw that my pair of pants is really not um, in a good shape to be worn anymore because it had a hole on my butt and I was not like, comfortable fixing that because it would have been very visible all the time, I decided to try to make a t-shirt out of it. So I opened up the seams, as I said before, to save um, the thread because I did not have a thread in a good similar color um, myself. And I just looked at the pieces of fabric and saw that it must actually be, be possible that it would be enough fabric to make a t-shirt for myself. Now, I'm not a pattern maker. I have a broad idea of how patterns work and how it must look to, to actually fit. So, but what I did is actually, I just took the fabric and I, I sew it together with some pink ugly thread that I had in very broad stitches just to try it on and to um, make the pattern on my body. So I tried it on several times and altered the parts where I needed to take away more fabric or add something. I like ironed it to make sure that it actually has the shape it needs to have so that I can actually see how it looks. Another brilliant idea I think is um, using a pattern from a piece of clothing you already own. I've done that several times before. So you can just take a piece of clothing and lie it on a piece of paper in different ways to actually get the shapes of the pieces of fabric that you need to make a new piece out of it. And I think it's always a bit 
of trying and maybe failing sometimes but I think I'm pretty happy with how it turned out now. I first um, sewed together like the, the pieces of fabric that needed to be together and then I started like making the hems. Now I'm hand sewing all of this because I gave my sewing machine away a few years ago but it was like an overlocker sewing machine so it wasn't even something that I could have used properly for this piece. Um, and it's definitely something that takes a bit of patience because these hems should look good and yeah they are all these stitches should be in place and look good and you can definitely see that i've made it by hand but i think i'm pretty happy with how it turned out so now i'm gonna try it on for you one last time so you can see how it fits and the thing i also like is that it is um, a beige top as well but it hasn't, it doesn't have the same color my pants have. And so it adds a nice, very, very small contrast that I really like because I like these tone in tone um, outfits and I hope I will get a lot of use out of it. And I actually made sure that it is a bit better than one of the t-shirts I also have. So now I think I'm going to get rid of one of the t-shirts, the green one that is not long enough so I cannot tuck it into my pants. And this one is actually a bit longer. So I think I'm going to be happy and I'm going to be able to wear it. And I hope I will get a lot of use out of it. I hope I um, have sewn it good enough so that it won't just like the seams won't just open up or something like that and Yeah, I hope you like this video if you did Please give it a thumbs up because that would really help my channel also let me know um, What you do to make sure that your wardrobe is more sustainable and always remember Even though we have a certain responsibility as a consumer I don't think we are fully responsible for everything when it comes to sustainability so I do strongly believe that governments and big like fashion brands have to make changes as well and we can just do our part and do our best without burning ourselves out um, about with worrying about um, the world and what we could do if it's sometimes just that we have very limited choices and we cannot make a decision that is 100% how we want to make a decision. So if you want to see more videos I'm gonna link you a video and a playlist here that you can watch if you want and if you have time now and I also hope to see you next time. Bye!